Jack takes a tree branch and puts it through the trigger of the AK-47, then using his shoelace, hanging the gun upside down from the tree, stuck half a box of matches on top of his shoelace, then he lit it on fire. As the matches burned and broke the laces, the AK-47 fell straight down. The branch snaps the trigger. Instantly, automatic fire. The fierce sound of gunfire instantly attracts the attention of the enemy. Jack took the opportunity, knocked out one of the guards, stripped the man of his uniform to change into his own, sneaking up on the, the enemy's arsenal, carefully avoiding, patrol the skirmishers, pull out the tent pegs, sneak inside the armory, prepare to destroy the enemy, the most deadly missile of all. After confirming the type of missile, Jack quickly pulled out his cowhide kit, opened the bag. Inside, he pulled out a screwdriver, unscrewing the screws on the control box to remove the square flap. Then he put the bag aside and took out the removal spanner, carefully slipped it under the circuit board. In one fell swoop, the missile's control unit was pried off. The missile had a self-destruct program. Once it was damaged, it would instantly go into self-destruct mode. With 25 seconds to go before the missile explodes, Jack immediately pulled out a pair of sharp-nosed steel pliers and cut the red wire to the control panel. But it doesn't stop the timer from counting down. With only 10 seconds left on the countdown, Jack quickly took out a pin. He straightened the needle. After straightening it, a piece of wire was inserted into the timer's circuit board. The timer ticked. It finally stopped at 0.01 seconds. Jack then put his mind at ease, 